Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I am making a little vase for my table. I made this little guy here for fall using just an old jar and a napkin that someone had sent me in some friend mail, and I absolutely love this. I really hated taking it off the table, but you know, we're already into December here and I still have it out there, so I wanted to make something to replace it. And I also had, the, I, this is actually just a spaghetti sauce jar I'm going to use for this one. And then this little jar here that I painted up um, was actually a jar of mushrooms. Organic mushrooms. So we're going to decorate this up too. And I think I'm going to put like some little um, Christmas candies in there, like little uh, red and green M&Ms or something like that. Uh, I just thought that would be cute. Why not? I save everything. But, you know, it comes in handy. <clears throat> so for this one, I'm going to for the big one here, I'm going to use this napkin here that I got. I ordered these on Amazon. I'll try to give you guys the number here if anybody wants to look them up. It's called Queets, yeah, Sweet Christmas Boots. I don't know if you guys can see that number there. Um, you can just pause the video there if you can see it. I can't see in my camera. Whoops, there we go. So if anybody wants to look that up, um, it's just THR, I believe that is. And then the other one I'm using, I used this one on my little candles that I made. I love this napkin. It's so much fun to use because it has all these different little pieces that you can cut out and use on it. And this one's just called Restaurant Wear Eco-Friendly. And this is called um, White Paper Napkins. Merry Christmas 13 by 13. But here, I'll leave that up here too in case you guys want to pause it and check that out. But I love this one. I've done a lot with these already. I'm actually going to be using some of those on both of these. I cut out a bunch of these little pieces. Now all I did with these is I took the, um, this is the white Adirondack uh, folk art chalk paint, or you can any kind, of, any kind of chalk paint that you have. I'm um, using white because the backgrounds of these napkins are very white, um, so that's what I'm doing. The other one that I used over there, I used more of a yellowish tone on that one because the napkin was yellow. But all I do is I just take a, a sponge brush. I'm not even going to do this because you guys know how to do this. I just, you know, put, dip it in the thing and then I just sponge the whole thing. I let it dry and then sponge the whole thing again with some white chalk paint. I like the chalk paint because it really sticks to the glass well. Um, I've used acrylic paint and that seems to like just scrape right off. I mean, this stuff you can't even, it doesn't even scrape. So that's why I like to use the chalk paint on here. But that's all I do with them, is I just put two coats of the chalk paint on there. Now to cut out my images, I cut these little guys out already. I cut out um, the little mouse and the little kitty cat. I just love this. I think it's so cute. And I'm praying that that red doesn't bleed when I'm doing this. And then for this little jar, I cut out the little Merry Christmas from the other napkin with the little things on it. I'm going to use the Merry Christmas up on top here. And then I'm going to use some of the little characters out of there. What did I cut out? I cut out the reindeer, the snowman, and of course a penguin, and Santa. And then I cut out a whole bunch of these little things that are in here too. So I have a bunch of little pieces. This actually I'm hoping is going to cover up the name of the spaghetti sauce on there. It's going to be mine, so nobody, help. nobody will ever know. All right, so to cut these out, let me show that real quick for anybody who hasn't seen me cut out all these little things. Um, you got to see how many plies your napkin is, if it's like a two-ply or a three-ply, whatever. You need to peel all the extra ones off until you're down to just this one real thin ply of napkin. And um, let's see. Uh, we'll just cut out this little bow here real quick. And all I do is I take my water pen. Now, these are watercolor pens. You can get these on Amazon, Hobby Lobby. Some people said they found them at Five Below. Um, it's just a, you would use these like on watercolors. But I use these to outline. And if you don't have one, you can just use a regular paintbrush and some water. It works exactly the same. But I got these for Christmas. And then you're going to need something really smooth to work on, like glass or a countertop or something like that. And then all you got to do is go around the edge of your image with some of the water and put your finger over the image and make sure you can't see any of the image and then you just scrape it away but you know just make sure you can't see any of the image by your finger because if you can you're going to end up pulling the paper off of it and that's it you just keep going around it and that way you don't have a, a straight edge and these um, kind of jagged edges or whatever they blend right in when you decoupage them off so 
case anybody hasn't seen that yet. And this is just a knife that came in with my paintbrushes. You can use like a regular plastic knife or anything with a rounded edge just to scrape them away. So let me put those away for now. All right, let's put this on this little thing here first. I'm going to put this on the top here. It would help if I had some of my Mod Podge out. Now if you want these so they can be washable, you can use the um, <clears throat> dishwasher safe Mod Podge. Um, the only thing I found with this stuff is that if you use this on the napkins, it really makes the colors run. So what I've been doing is I've been putting on the regular Mod Podge. Um, as soon as I find one here that's open. Here we go. Nope, that's a matte one. Thought I was prepared. I just use, this is just the gloss. I usually get these at Dollar Tree. I actually haven't seen these at Dollar Tree for a while. <clears throat> I hope they're still going to be carrying these. But every time I see them there, I pick up a whole bunch of them. And it is actually a pretty good deal if you go by the ounces compared to like Michaels and stuff. All right. And then I like to use a smaller kind of paintbrush for these things here. So I'm just going to line this little guy up here that I cut out with my water brush. And hope that I have this somewhat in the center. I think that looks pretty good. And then we're just going to Mod Podge it right on there. And I just like to work it a little bit at a time. It saves a lot on the wrinkles if you don't do too much of it at a time. And I know people are always telling me you can smooth it out with like saran wrap over top of it or anything, but I really haven't had that much of a problem where I needed to do that. As long as you just do it little by little. See, it goes on really, really, oops, I can't see there, really well. You just can't be in a hurry. And a lot of these little bumps you'll see in here when it's still wet, but then after it dries, as long as it's not like a big wrinkle and it just looks kind of like a little bubble under the napkin, it will flatten out once it dries. All right, so that was pretty easy. And that will be my lid. And I'm also going to put the dots on here for anybody who hasn't seen me do those. Um, I'll just show a few real quick after this gets all dry. But I like putting like the red and green dots around the outside of the lid. So I think that'll be really cute for the lid. And then of course you're going to want to put a little bit of Mod Podge on the whole lid so it matches. And then after this dries real good, you can put a couple coats of the dishwasher safe Mod Podge on here. I would still, if you want to wash these, I would still hand wash them just because I would be so afraid of ruining it. But it says it takes 28 days to cure to be dishwasher safe. So. If you're making a Christmas decoration, you'll be safe after Christmas. You can wash it up. But anyway, there is the lid. I'm going to go around the edge here real fast. Just so it's all nice and shiny. And then we'll put our dots on, and then I can put the other stuff over top of it after I put on my dots. All right, so let me set that over here out of the way and let that dry. And now for this guy, I'm going to put on these, um, I'm going to move this thing when I get done with this. It's making a lot of noise. Um, I'm going to put a snowman on here. And I don't want to put up too high, because I'm actually going to put around the rim of this one, just to hide all this nasty stuff, I'm going to put a couple rows of this silver trim that I got at Dollar Tree. I'll show you that when we get to it. But I just want to go around here and put these little guys on. I'm going to try and order some more of these napkins if they're not out of stock already because these are great. There's just so many different pieces to them that you can use. Isn't that cute? And hair in there. There we go. And I'm just going to do part of the, I'm not going to do all of this. I will just show you guys like half of what I'm doing here and then I'll finish the other half off screen because it's all going to be done exactly the same way. So, otherwise this video will be very, 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 very long. All right, so there is my snowman. And then on the side here, I'm going to get, hopefully I'll get four on here. Let's see. Maybe I'll put the reindeer on the back here. Try to, whoops try to um, judge where the front's going to be here. I think that's about halfway. All right. So we're going to put our little reindeer over here. 
He doesn't quite fit, but good enough. Because I don't want it to get up in here because I'm going to put my trim around there. I just thought this would be a fun little thing. I can put that out there with my um, pretty face when it's done and uh, have a little, some little candies in it or something. Or you may just give it to someone. I don't know. And every once in a while you have that person that's like, oh no, I forgot. And you know, you feel stupid you don't have a little gift. So it's nice to have just a little something sitting around in case you need it. Sometimes somebody will bring you something you're really not expecting and you kind of want to give them a little something back. I'm just going to put this right down here underneath it and let it dry on there. All right, so that is how I'm putting all these on. I'm going to put the Santa here and the penguin over on this side. So actually I'm going to leave this upside down and let that dry for a little bit. And then we can work on this one here. I think the first thing I'm going to do is cover up the spaghetti sauce name here. And I cut these out of the um, first napkin there with the little images on it. So I'm just going to put this right over it here, and I don't think you're going to notice it at all. I'm just going to try to bring the, um, I'm going to put some nautical rope on this one, but I really didn't want to bring it all the way down that low. It didn't look right. It looked really bulky and awkward, so. Ah, look at that. Name is gone. And same thing on this one I'm going to do, and then, you know, you can, if you want, use the dishwasher safe. I didn't on my other base, and it was fine. You could just wipe it off. And then I have one of these single ones here. I'm hoping that'll be big enough. hidden. Uh, let's see. All right. All my names are gone. Now. Whoops, nope, I got one more. Never mind, there was four. I didn't even notice that when I was cleaning this jar out and I saved it to use for this, but I didn't realize that the Spaghetti sauce name was actually raised in the glass. All right, so we got one more here to go. You just make sure you use a lot of the Mod Podge. You can, you know, like wipe it off if you get too much excess on there. But it's so much easier to work with it if you have quite a bit on there and just kind of work it around. So there. I think that's good. So now I am ready to get this guy on here. And I hope it's not going to give me too hard of a time. Because sometimes when you're trying to work on a round um, thing here, it doesn't always want to cooperate. Alright, let's see. We're going to give it a try. I really like working with smaller pieces. It's so much easier. And I don't put any underneath, um, most of you guys know, because these napkins are very thin when you get down to the one ply and you don't need to. And if you do put it down first and your napkin gets stuck somewhere you don't want it, you can't move it because it'll just tear. So that's why I just do it this way and it soaks right through. Just like, you know, how fast the water soaked right through it. Really, really hoping this is going to work out. I got that little, there's like a little crease in the bottle here, jar or whatever. I think this is going to work out pretty good, actually. 
and I have a lot better luck with a smaller brush. I was doing it the other day with the bigger brush, and I don't know, I was just having a hard time. Most of this down here, and then you can kind of go back over and try to work out any little wrinkles that you may get. Hopefully not too many, because the last one I tried with this napkin, I kind of tore it a little bit, and I had to fix the boot. But this one's going on much better than the last one. I think that's going to be really cute. And I have a bunch of Dollar Tree flowers and berries and things, and I want to make a little a little bouquet of flowers to go in this. Alright, I'm shocked that this went on so easily. Like I said, the little brush, I swear I'm just going to keep using a little brush. I don't care how big the image is, it just seems to go on so much smoother when you're just doing it a little at a time. So that actually looks pretty good. Alright, so I am going to leave this dry, push down any of these little wrinkles I see, and that will be that. Alright, so I'm going to let this guy dry, and um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the other one on the back. And I kind of want to go over this again here just to get, make sure all my lines are going in the same direction. And see how it's kind of bubbly in there? I think that's going to settle down once it dries. So I'm going to leave it be before I rip it. Alright, so this I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm going to put those other two images on here, and then we can come back and finish decorating this up. Alright, these guys are pretty dry here. Um, I think they came out really cute. I love this napkin. I'm definitely going to try to get some more. And this one came out pretty good too. I was very surprised. Not too, too many wrinkles in here. They pretty much all flattened out. And the top there looks pretty good. Can't really see a thing anymore. So for the lid for this little jar, I decided to put some of the little dots on it. And I did half of it here already just to get a head start. Um, and all I do is I use just a little bit of paint in one of these things here and one of these embossing tools. You can get these at Dollar Tree or you can get them anywhere pretty much like Michael's or you know Hobby Lobby or something. But Dollar Tree's best deal. So I used the big side. There's a little side and a big side, so I'm using the bigger side here. And what I did was I went around and I'm just adding like maybe probably like a half an inch apart. I'm just putting some dots. I didn't really measure here or anything. Whoops, don't want that there. And then on the top, I'm just kind of going to match that there with the same as the bottom ones. Or close to it. Just right, not quite on top of the rim, but meh, more or less on the side of it there. Just to give it a little something up there. Alright, so then I'm going to take a napkin here. So all you need for these things is just wipe it off. Try not to set this lid down. Just get the red paint off. These are the easiest things to clean up too. And then I'm just going to go in between these dots with some green. And I use this is what I used here. I used the um, Imperial Red. This is the chalk paint. And I used what is this one? Spanish Moss color. I like this because it's not like a real bright Christmassy green. It's just a nice color green. So then I'm just going to go in between the red dots with some of those green dots. It's a little too small. Well, now it looks like a heart. There we go.
There, and that is all I'm going to do for that. I just think that looks cute for the lid. All right, so I'm going to set that over here and let that dry. And I'll scrape my paint back in my little jars there with my brush. Now for the top of this one, I'm going to put some of this. Um, I actually was going to use this from the Dollar Tree. It's just called uh, Ribbon Trim. I was going to use the silver, but now that everything's kind of red and green, I decided I'm going to use this stuff here. This is from Dollar Tree, too. You get three yards of it on here. And I am just going to glue this. I'm going to do two rows of it. I'm going to do one row right down here and then one right on top of it. I think that will look really cute. So I'm just going to put a little hot glue on there. Glue that down. And then I'm just going to go around here and squeeze a little glue in there. I think that'll look pretty when the lid goes on. The silver just didn't really match it that well after I got all the other stuff on here. I was going to use this on another project too and it didn't look right, so I'm glad I get to use it on this one. I think that'll look real pretty. So I'm going to go around this twice. And then that'll cover up that little um, lip there that shows. You won't see that anymore. So we're just going to bring this right up on top of this one here. Just so it'll be two nice rows of it. Like that. This stuff is nice. They had a lot of really nice um, ribbons and things this year at Dollar Tree. I was really happy to find all of these. Because these can be really pricey if like, you get it at Michael's or something like that. They want like, I don't know, like five bucks for a little roll of stuff anymore. It's crazy. Alright, so I'm just going to cut this off here. Let me get my little finger protector out here. And these little finger protectors are from Dollar Tree, too. So there. That's good. So that's very pretty. Alright, so we got to wait for the lid to dry before I can put that on here and show you how that's going to look. And yeah, I think I'm just going to put some little M&Ms or something in here. I think that'll be nice out on the table with my um, little vase here. Alright, now for the top of this vase, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the nautical rope from Dollar Tree. So like I said, I'm trying to use everything from Dollar Tree that I can. Uh, get another finger protector here. Let me get this tape off. Well, at the same time, I'm just going to cut that off. Now what I do with these is I put a little bit of hot glue around it here, just so it doesn't unravel. And then take your little finger protectors and just kind of squeeze it in there. And then your little ends won't come apart. So I think I'm going to start back here because I did get a little piece here that of course I hit it with my finger and pulled it off, but I might just put another little piece of red over top of that. So anyway, we're going to start maybe on the side here. And I think I'm just going to do this all the way around until it comes up to the, the top. Now this stuff is great because once you get the first row on, they stick real well to each other. So, I think these would make a cute little gift for somebody, too. They don't have to know what garbage you use to make it. <laughs> I love making stuff out of, you know, just something you were going to throw in the trash and turn it into something really nice. So, all right, that'll end up on the side. stick in here. Right, 
doesn't get any easier than this. I don't even really need these finger protectors on here because see that's going to go right up by the top nicely. And I don't think I'm going to add whoops add any embellishment to it either. Um, the other one I did a, like a little bow on it with a sunflower, but I'm just going to leave this plain because I'm going to fill this up with flowers and things, and I don't think I want anything on the top of this other than just this rope. Alright, so that's going to come right around here, so I'm going to cut that off and get my end glue. Oh, no, I'm getting out of the camera again, sorry. I tend to pull things up close to me so I can see, but then you guys can't see. Alright, so let me glue this end shut. There we go. Alright, I think that'll be good. I don't need these on anymore. that down a little bit. I don't like the way that sticks up there, but that's all right. I don't even think you're going to notice it once I get the flowers in. But that kind of just finishes off the top of it a little bit, so it just doesn't look like it's, you know, the little threads for the jar. All right, so now to put in this thing, I took a bunch of these flowers from Dollar Tree. Um, I took one of the white and one of the red, and I just kind of mixed them all together here and pulled them through so it looks like one big bunch. And I'm going to use, going to need a little bit of, um, floral tape when I get going here. Let me rip a piece off to get started. And then I just took a bunch of pieces of things. I'm going to use some of these, um, what are these called? These are the pine ties that they have at Dollar Tree. I think you get 12 in a bag. Um, so I'm going to use like four, excuse me, four or five of those. I have the hiccups today. I don't know what I ate. And then I'm going to use a couple pieces of these ferns that I cut off of a bunch. Um, they have the ferns and they have the eucalyptus. And I love this white eucalyptus. So I cut a couple pieces of each of these off and also a piece of the willow branch. And I'm just going to mix a couple of them in here. And I actually did cut off, you know how they're like sectioned here? I cut off the bottom because it was a little bit too tall. but. We're just going to mix stuff in here, and then I can use my floral tape as I go to kind of hold it together. So, I'm just going to stick one of these. These are a little bit short when you cut them off, so I'm going to put this one way up here. And then we'll tape those on. I'm going to put one on that side, and one of those over here, up high. And then I'm just going to take my tape and wrap that around real quick here to hold it together. And then once you get this in the vase, then you can kind of bend them and fix them however you want. But I just want to hold that in place while I'm working here. All right. So then I'm going to add some of these willow branches. I'll put a couple of those in here. One over here. And one over here. I want them to kind of be up high too. <coughs> So let me tape those on. So they stay there for me. Alright, I'm just going to leave that hang there. So then I'm going to put these eucalyptus, um, and put one of those up in here. I don't want it right next to that. Well, in between. Stick one on this side. One on this side, down in between these other things, and I think that should hold pretty good. Like I said, once we get it in there, we're going to bend all these around so they're not going to like this. And then I'm going to take five of these little pines, and we're going to put these on the outside edge. And then we can bend them around too, however we want. Oh, I really didn't need that piece. All right. Let's 
see. I thought I had, oh, I do have five. Okay. I thought I was missing one. Three, four, and five. There we go. So now I'm just going to take some more floral tape and hook that all together. And I promise I will clean up all this mess and give you guys a nice shot of these when they're finished because I have everything out here all over the place. All right. So now that's all together. There we go. Hopefully this is going to fit down in there just perfect. There, I think that's pretty. And I'll fluff them all out and stuff when we get them in there. But that is going to be what's on my kitchen table. I know you can't see these yet, but I will get a shot of this when we're done here. And hopefully I'll get these straightened out. All right, so let me just set that over there for now. And then let's see our little thing drying over here. All right, I think that's dry enough that we can put it on. Actually. There. See, now you can't see any of that underneath there. And I think that'll look just cute on the table. I wonder if I can put this on a different way. I don't like where that landed. Oh, there we go. That's better. But that's adorable. Just have a few little candies or something in on your table. And we can sit it right next to this little guy here. All right, let me clean up all this mess. I'm going to straighten my flowers out here. And then I'll come back and we'll get a nice look at it. Alright guys, I'm going to try to hold my light up here. I've got a heck of a shadow now because it's starting to get dark. Um, but there it is, all done. I love it. I cannot wait to put these out on my kitchen table. Um, I think they came out super, super cute. And I love my little jar. So that was my little project for today. It's about time I get something out there for Christmas and put away the fall things. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.